The best French toast. I told you. There's robots out here, guys. They're gonna kill me. This is the dumbest purchase I have ever made in my life. It cost me Hi guys, welcome back to our weekly vlog. I had ended last week's vlog literally just saying goodbye to you guys and now I'm starting it again because it's Monday, it's time to start the new vlog. Your girl just got Burger King. This is the first time I've ever had Burger King. It's really the first time I've ever eaten Hungry Jack's either. I used to have the Oreo McFlurry type things from there. They used to call them Storms. So I've had that before, but I haven't had a burger or fries or anything from Hungry Jack's or Burger King before, so. I got the vegan one. I decided I didn't want... To get the vegan burger? Yeah. Because no, I just, I don't, my tummy is not feeling good. The travels has not done well to my tummy. And I think the last thing I want is like an off beef patty. <laughs> so, can't really get off beef patties if it's all vegetables. up our bags Al is currently going through security and his COVID testing so once you land in Dubai they make you go straight to a COVID testing to double up on a COVID test you already had to come into the country with one anyway but they wanted you to do one as soon as you got here so because I was in business class they took us first so I am done I've got all of our bags here but yeah, so that's us. Our three flights out of five are down. We're in Dubai for six nights. I'm so happy just to be off a plane. I definitely love, I love flying and I'm so, so grateful to be able to fly in business from San Jose del Cabo all the way to here in Dubai. But yeah, it's it makes all the difference. It is insane how much of a difference it makes when you're flying such long hauls internationally. But anyway, that's it. So we're just gonna catch a taxi to our Airbnb, to our apartment at Blue. Waters Island. Absolutely love that place. We stayed in the same apartment complex last time for I think maybe like a week actually all up and we absolutely loved it so I decided to book that again this time. He's here, the man, the myth, the legend. is the hole so kind of stuff that one up but anyway that's our plan thought i would update you guys before i go into the gym so literally just got home and chilled i actually fell asleep i made sure to get up as soon as i realized i was snoozing and now i'm heading to the gym i'm just gonna do some very light work because my body's so sore it's very weird feeling it right now hold on i gotta show you guys this for you because it's insane we go forever and ever, yeah. You know that I'm a just said it, yeah. You can say you can do better, uh. no, no, it won't let em, uh. We go forever and ever, yeah. I go and create the pressure, yeah. You can say you can do better, uh. You can say you can do better, yeah. I know that I can do better, I can do better. I'm so in love with the chatter, I'm so in love with my little boo. It was written like a letter, think I was born with the juice, think I was born with the sauce, think I was born a little crazy. Then I turn up to a boss Gotta, gotta go and get it I keep running up the digits Lost my mind, I gotta fix it 
kill the beat, coke killing. Need to change the way I'm living. Never sleeping, I'm tripping. This is forever and ever. We live forever and ever, yeah. We go forever and ever, yeah. You know that I'm at your saddle, yeah. You would say you can do better, no. No, no, I won't let her, no. We go forever and ever, yeah. I go and create the pressure, yeah. You would say you can do better, huh? You would say you can do better, yeah. This is a team, no pillow talk, no tea. Out the way, keep it cheap. Shawty told me she a freak. Wap, wap, straight E. We go forever and ever, yeah. You know that I'm a your yeah. You would say you can do better, uh. No, no, I won't let her, uh. We go forever and ever, yeah. I go and create the pressure. Went for a walk this morning, as you guys saw, it was so beautiful, so calm. Now it's hot and muggy, and we are heading to the gym to work out, film some content for Move With Us, and also for the website. I was just ordered the Uber for us, in light of me losing my business card and everything being linked up to my business card, and my whole phone. Also, this is something that's so annoying. My phone, it doesn't have any service anywhere else in the world. It just won't even recognize as me having service anywhere, other than inside Australia and everything that you need to sign up for everything that you need to link up for I have organized for two back to verification or it just already has that and it has to send you a message to your phone number I can't receive any text messages to my phone because I have no service so I literally can't sign up for anything or even start a new Airbnb account or link up my card to it or do anything like that can't sign into so many things because I don't have that option to send a message so <sighs> anyway let's go to the gym up showing you what I bought the other day at the shops I was just kind of telling you but I'm gonna quickly show you now so you can see so first things first is I got these two Kiehl's is my current choice of skincare so a calendula deep cleansing foaming face wash and then a super multi corrective cream which is super hydrating exactly what I need and then I also got some hair care products so holy grail products like virtue shampoo and conditioner it's the recovery shampoo and conditioner amazing and then my two like literally fave products freaking ever is restorative treatment mask from virtue again and the healing oil, which I use on my hair every day. On just dry hair, I put it over dry hair. It's amazing. I bought the Virtue from Sephora, and then I got the Kiehl's from a Kiehl shop. I went to the store today to get a new toothbrush. I wanted an electric one. My dentist always tells me and recommends that electric toothbrushes are great thing so I went and bought one me in my mind of pesos AED dirham and Australian dollar thought this is way cheaper than what it was you guys are gonna kill me this is the dumbest purchase I have ever made in my life like it's honestly embarrassing it's so bad I did the conversion once I got home and realized how badly I f***ed up after I used it it cost me 450 Australian Dollars. <laughs> oh my god! This has to be the bougiest toothbrush ever, and I've got it. 
me. I don't even, I don't, I don't buy anything expensive, apparently, except for toothbrushes. It's got five different cleaning cycles and it connects up to an app. It's got four different toothbrush heads, depending on what you're using it for. It's got a switch out tongue cleaner. It's got a rechargeable travel case that plugs into USB so you can charge it on your flight. It's got everything. And you would hope so for $450. But yeah, welcome to my dumbest purchase ever. All because I didn't convert properly. <sighs> Anyways, we came back from the gym and we have literally just done some work since. I got sent a Gymshark package for something coming up very soon and we are about to head out for dinner at the Cheesecake Factory. Let's go. I actually, you know, one other thing that I did buy the other day when I bought my other stuff are these shoes. So they're similar to the little ones that I got in Spain, but they're the Japanese massage shoes, Kenko. I'm really excited. So it's like reflexology stuff. She kind of sold me on that. You guys saw me wear this in Mexico, but I'm wearing it again. Because I have the same wardrobe for the past eight months. Let's go. Good morning. It's Thursday. Holy moly, it's going so quickly. Al and I are about to go get, if they have it, the Lotus French Toast from Catch 22, which is a cafe here in Dubai that has the best French toast with like melted Biscoff on top of it. That is our plan this morning. We have a lot of filming to do for Gymshark and Move With Us today, which I didn't really show you guys what we were doing yesterday when we were filming. So I'm gonna make sure that I show you today because this is what I do for work. And I've had questions recently from people being like, what do you do for work? Do you just holiday? Like, no, I work every single day. So we are going to make sure that we include that and show you guys what we actually do to create content for the companies that I work for and with and the companies that I I aren't. That's our plan for today. Let's go show you guys this Biscoff French toast. Oh. So freaking good. Obviously Al didn't end up coming with me. He had some work stuff to do, but I think the one thing, it was definitely like a two person serving. I shared it with Steve last time that I got it and it was like the perfect size. But today I had to make sure I stopped when I started getting full. So I didn't want to make myself sick. And I think that's something that I do really well. I can eat the foods that I eat and I don't restrict myself because I don't go overboard. If I want to treat myself to something, I can do it in a very, minimal amount and I think that also helps because it stops me from binge eating. I think a lot of people have problems with binge eating these days because they hold off for so long on certain types of food that when they finally give in to that food, they just let loose and go crazy and eat ridiculous amounts of that food. Who doesn't want to enjoy the food that they eat? There's nothing worse than eating food just for the sake of eating it and not actually enjoying what you eat. There's always going to be something you can replace it with that you enjoy better than what you're forcing yourself to eat. Home sweet home. We didn't get up to too much work because I was freaking out thinking his flight vanished into thin air for Singapore Airlines because we were originally on the same booking and I had to add baggage to mine because we only had one and proceeded not to tell us the new details for our flight so I thought it was disappeared so we were on the phone with Singapore Airlines for like an hour's wait well Al was on there for like an hour's wait and then I jumped on and they <laughs> answered it in like 10 minutes so annoying. I had an hour and four minutes and then 47 minutes before that and then what you were 10 minutes. Yeah. So that's all sorted, but all of our work stuff is going to have to be pushed back to tomorrow because right now we've been invited to go hang out, spend the afternoon at the Sofitel Dubai Palm, which is super exciting because we absolutely loved it there when we were there last time. Hanging out at the pool, we're going to go to their Indian night tonight, which is amazing. We had that last time. We will show you what we get up to. Al just living his best life. Get some fruit and 
newbie. So we've got a Ballina top, which is just like a medium support top. And then we have the Morton bottoms. All right, here at dinner at Zuya, which is the Indian cuisine at Sofitel. They have a massive banquet and I'm so excited, but we're gonna go up and grab our food. Good morning, guys. It's Friday. It is like 10 a.m. It's quite a late morning. I slept in till about 7.38 and then just went for a walk to the bakery, got some of that. I got a little strawberry protein shake, but now I am contemplating what I want to do for work first. So on today's schedule, I have to film some stuff for Gymshark. Really struggling with being creative with that because there's a thin line between being creative and being unauthentic. And I want to make sure that all the content that, you know, I give out to you guys is authentic and it's something that I would usually do. I'm not just trying to sell the product through a way that I wouldn't usually do that. So I'm kind of just tossing up what exactly I want to do for that. And then also having to go to the gym and film some more stuff with a Move With Morgan video banner thing for the website for Move With Us. So we have, yeah, pretty much like 15 seconds worth of content to get there. So that should be pretty quick. And then I also need to go to the shops and get some books for quarantine. Al needs to fix his laptop. I need to get a little carry-on suitcase. So we have quite a few things to get from the mall as well. So I think we're gonna go to the mall this afternoon. Just tossing up whether I wanna do this Gymshark thing first. What do I do? What do I do? Right, give me a couple minutes, I'll think. Alrighty, we just finished filming up the Move With Morgan promo. The campaign, which I'm so chuffed about. How cute is this outfit? I'm all about it. For a little while, I woke up at about 6.20. I've just been lying in bed chatting with Steve and just chilling on Instagram. I haven't done anything yet. I need to get up and do something. So we have some friends that are gonna come over and visit at like midday today. And then this afternoon slash tonight, we're gonna go to the expo and check it out. Everyone's been saying it's incredible. Like it's just from a different planet, kind of incredible. So I'm excited for that. Anyway. I'm gonna get up and get the day started. What? Oh my gosh. There's robots out here, guys. Freaking robots. What the hell? Look at the one next to the guy. <gasps> no. What? Oh my god. <laughs>
fiance is from, my future hubby. Oi! That line's just so long. Hello, hello, hello. It is Sunday, our last day in Dubai, our last day in this Airbnb, our last day outside of our home country. So obviously we're gonna end this vlog pretty much as we leave to travel. So we fly out at 11 p.m. tonight. Up until then, we're just chilling, probably gonna do some work, head to the gym, grabbing breakfast with one of my girlfriends this morning, have to do our COVID test this morning, but yeah. That's all I can think of. But Al has just finished the move with Morgan. You guys have been seeing us kind of filming bits and pieces for it. So I'll kind of, I'll try and show you right now. So this is going up on the website for Oofed. He does such a good job with editing and he obviously does amazing campaign stuff. So I hope the Move With Us team loves that one. I'm gonna show you what we actually did it for. So on the Move With Us page, and this is obviously to show you guys where you can find my programs. Currently they're kind of rebranding, resetting everything up so that it is a little bit more kind of all the programs in one space. Right now, currently they have a lot of Rachel's main programs on the home page. And then when you go into the programs then you can find the other ones, but I think they're going to be changing that sometime soon. So it's more accessible for the people who are wanting to do my programs, Emma's programs, that kind of thing. So this is the Move With Us website, obviously. You can see currently now it's got like Rachel's main programs. They're probably the best selling ones. And then it kind of just goes into social stuff. So go to my programs, you have to go up to the top programs and then Move With Morgan and and move 28 so move 28 you'll see has its visual here and you can see it kind of shows what's involved so you've got strength days you've got kind of gymnastics conditioning you've got some play you've got some stretching some swimming running really outdoorsy kind of stuff as well it just kind of shows that it's obviously an outdoor and indoor program whereas the move with morgan is kind of and then move with Morgan currently now is kind of just a photo. So that's where our video is going to go. The one that we have just filmed. So yeah, that's where you can go. Just remember there is, so each time it, it resets onto a Monday. So that's what the time is for. Resets onto a Monday and it takes in like new people and starts on that day. We currently have 25% off all the programs. So if you're interested, check it out. It honestly, like we never have sales. Like we never have sales. So if you are wanting to do the programs and you haven't really, you know, signed up or committed to it, or you just wanted a little bit more of a discount, it's 25% off. So check it out if you're interested. She's here, the weapon from last night. <laughs> We're having some breakfast. I've got the stuffed croissant. Avocado on toast. You can take the girl out of Aussie, but not the Aussie out of the girl. No, no. Ever. Love that. We're here at the Dubai airport and we are. Hello. <laughs> I thought he was saying hello, but he wasn't. He was just looking. Um, anyway, we're at Dubai Airport, International Airport. I genuinely thought the Dubai Airport was going to be nicer than the International. Because it's so, it's such a big airport, like landing and doing all that sort of stuff. And leaving, it's kind of just like, it's very old school kind of thing. But anyway, we're flying to Singapore and then we will do... Singapore to Darwin and then we're home but it's Sunday so this is me ending this week's vlog hope you guys enjoyed it see you on the next one